I honestly think that this is something God placed on my heart. I just got to thinking about what if it was here? What if that was me in that situation and I had to go to another country? Would I be willing just to be as brave as they have? You were crying just you left? Yeah, no, I just came. I just came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Came back from Afghanistan to here. Mm -hmm. When I went to Afghanistan, I didn't expect to have the experience that I had. After I met the children there, it, it changed my life forever. And I think it was my experience in Afghanistan that led me to want to work with refugees. It's absolutely the case that we feel like what we're doing is an example of us living out our faith. We believe that we're called to love God and love people. These are like the two greatest commandments that Jesus gave us. They're really one and the same commandment. You you love God by loving people, and you love people by loving God. God, um, as we approached your throne and we talked to you, God, we know that part of your kingdom is for us to be attentive to one another. But God, the gift of refugees from all over the world, God, that have found their way uh, to Northwest Arkansas, they are a gift to us. Uh, we would love to have other people enjoy what we're enjoying, which is an expansion of our own lives and our own thoughts, um, an expansion of our hearts, God, for the things that really matter to you most. Amen. This community really rallies around these refugees and we welcome them. They're not refugees anymore. They are our community members. And I think our community is stronger because of refugees in our area. And, um, sorry. Um, you know, we know what's going on in Syria right now. And some of them may never come because they may not survive another day. You did uh, an amazing job. You are changing a lot of lives. We're headed over to Odette's house now. The plan is to have a potluck so that our team can get together and also so that my mom can have a chance to meet our refugee family. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this is my mom, this is Cindy. So much. You mainly hear in the news all the bad things. They don't really pull in the good things like this family. They have learned to contribute. Our family had been in the refugee camp for 17 years. So for Joseph, that's his whole life. And now they're living in Fayetteville, Arkansas, right? So I mean, I'm sure this wasn't their first choice, but here they are, you know, making the best of it. Um, you'll meet Abwe. Um, he is a gentle man. And so if you had a perspective of what a refugee would be like, I, he's gonna upset it. Uh, if you if you spend any time really really getting to to know him and hear him I've seen their the process they go through I've seen the forms I've seen they've had their irises scanned you know fingerprints toe prints um, you know, they've been put through the ringer before they come here. We've wanted for a long time as a community to concretely help people. You know, times where we would feel just really overwhelmed by all the things happening in the world. And it took a long time for me to actually do anything about that. But eventually I started to do some research online and I found out about co-sponsorship. And Lisa said, hey, why don't we do this? And we're all looking around like, why not? And why haven't we? It doesn't have to overtake your whole life when you think about it from a team perspective. Whatever idea that you have to respond to what's going on in the world, you know, it, it's there for a reason. And eventually I think that there, is, there will be that opportunity um, to, to actually act on it. You can totally do this. You can totally help somebody. There's a blessing in that. There's a, there's a gift in that that um, I wish more people could could experience.